And then this is something that my dad told me when I was, um, when I was a little girl. He always said, and no matter what you do, be world class. And, um, and this picture sort of took me and it sort of, it felt like it represented a lot of that. Just me as a little girl always saying, being told, whatever you do, be world class. And a few months ago, I read, I read a bunch of blog articles about what does it even mean to be world class. It just feels like it's, it doesn't mean anything. To me, it means everything. Um, when I was first starting a job doing a work-study program in college, I was asked to uh, do filing in a, an administrative office. And uh, before I left for that job, my dad said to me, remember what I said, be world class. And I turned to my dad, I was like, well, stupid thing to say. I mean, I'm going to be filing and Xerox copying. Like, what am I really going to be doing? And he said, you know, just be world class about it. And I, um, so I walked in, and I, I had that in the back of my head. And when I was first given a stack of papers to photocopy, I remember thinking to myself, this was just stuck in my head. I said, I'm going to make this like the fastest set of copies, but they're going to be so straight, and they're going to be shocked at how fast I do this. And I did that, and then I brought it back, and they said, well, here's some mail merges we need to do and, and you know, address labels we need to put together. I, was, I put them all into Excel, and I made these beautiful address labels. And that experience of really trying to be really good at seemingly meaningless tasks led me to a whole slew of opportunities that then led me to a lot of other things that were really meaningful in my life. And that has never left me. And I think that no matter what you do, if you say to yourself, I have to be one of the top five people who have ever done this job, even if you can't measure yourself against that metric, there is something meaningful in aspiring to that from a mental perspective. So whether you're coding something, designing something, investing in something, building something, helping someone, if you really put into your mind the perspective of, I have to be world class in this moment, I believe that that changes everything. And ultimately, when you look back at work-life balance, and I've already said that that doesn't exist, if you can put your all into every moment, if you can put your all into your work, but you're all into your life. You truly can work hard and play hard. And I think by doing your best in each of those elements and always striving to do your best in those moments, that you can become your best self. And you know, the point of this talk has been to try to show you that no one is perfect. No one has that perfect existence. But at the same time, I think we're all striving to do our best. And so. I would just encourage all of you that any moment, any minute, really think about that. And if you do, you'll find that your life becomes that much greater and that much more rewarding.